Hey, I'm Black Dragon, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the Dragon's Lair. Motorcycle Chaos. And, man, it's uh, really crazy, you know, this whole COVID-19 thing. It has just really changed the way that uh, we live. And I'm hoping that uh, the new normal is going to look like something that we can 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 live with. I'm hoping that the new normal is going to be something that is not so strange because during this time, during during this pandemic, uh, I've actually been blessed enough to be able to open up uh, a new studio, and I've been in hiding basically since February when I got back from the cold ass run. I've been hiding since February. So I've had to come out of my home uh, and come over here and meet with people, contractors and things that were doing things to get my studio together. And it's a risk. It's a chance that you have to take. And the chance and the risk is so scary dealing with people. And you think you have your mask on, you're safe. And I just saw a CNN thing earlier today where they showed just how unsafe the masks were. But you absolutely have to know that they have to wear a mask and you have to wear a mask in order to have any chance at all with how contagious this disease is. And it's just frightening. It's frightening and it's scary. I'm here in my studio now locking up and getting ready to leave. And I... I wanted to talk to you guys about something interesting today because there there was a situation that really, really got on me. It really kind of got to me. And that was a lady who was killed um, and a man that was killed. The lady that was killed was a postal worker. And she was killed by some idiot because... She didn't deliver his stimulus check. And she didn't deliver his stimulus check because he had a badass ch- chihuahua. And the chihuahua uh, intimidated the postal worker. It either intimidated her or pissed her off. And in any event, she used her postal powers to stop delivering this guy's mail. And she stopped delivering his mail during a damn global pandemic where people are waiting around for their stimulus checks. This is perfectly within her rights, but it may be something that got her killed. Because this guy, mad that she would not uh, deliver up his stimulus check, approached her on a side, uh, on a porch, somebody else's porch, uh, where she was delivering mail, and initiated a confrontation with her. And they get into a yelling match between the two of them, or or maybe she didn't yell, but he certainly yelled. And he was pissed off because he didn't have his damn stimulus check. And he kept asking her, where's my stimulus check? Where's my stimulus check? And she decided to say, I'm not delivering it because you got a badass dog. And we told you about this dog. And we sent you letters about this dog. And this badass dog continues to be a badass dog. And I'm not delivering your mail. And so at some point during the confrontation, uh, it gets heated. She might feel threatened. Maybe she felt threatened. So she maced him or pepper sprayed him, whatever it was that they have. She used that against him. And his cowardly response to a woman with a can of mace was to blow her away was to blow her to kingdom come. Can can you imagine? Can you imagine being killed over such silliness? But that's just the state of people these days. The state of people, the 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 state of people this these days is on that bullshit. It's on that simple silly bullshit. And that's what you have to prepare yourself for when you're confronting these idiots. 
I keep saying these people were not stable before COVID-19. So please don't expect that they'll be stable now that COVID-19 is occurring. They already had one foot in the cuckoo's nest. And to die over something small, frivolous. Because what he could have done was gotten in his car and just gone and got gotten the stimulus check from the from the post office. Could have gone to the post office and gotten all his mail. But of course we're assuming that he had a car to do that with. We're assuming that he had gas. See, some of these people don't even have gas. That little twelve hundred dollar stimulus check meant means the world. It meant means everything. It's important. Folks hadn't eaten. I know folks have paid major, 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 major bills with that stimulus check. They were able to do things they hadn't done before. So here you are holding them up from it. Here you are holding them up from their stimulus check. And he killed her. And he said, I don't want it. I didn't want to kill her. I was only trying to scare her. Because he's running his mouth to law enforcement, which he should have shut up. He should have just shut up. He should have been quiet. He said, well, I was upset because of my, uh, I was upset because of my, my, uh, uh, what is it? My, 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 my asthma. I, I felt like my life might be in jeopardy because she sprayed me and I have asthma. But I didn't mean to kill her. Well, that's that's the wrong answer. You're going to prison forever. You didn't think that through either, huh? Because the right answer for that is <laughs> I got asthma. I fear for my life. I was trying to protect myself. That was that's the right answer for that. But the truth is, he wasn't afraid for his life. He wasn't trying to protect himself. He was pissed off at that lady for shooting him with the pepper spray. Crazy, huh? Absolutely crazy. You guys might hear me in the background getting into my car. Um, so, huh. I, I, I don't... I don't know what to say about that silliness, personally. But it cost a postal worker her damn life. And there's more. And there's more. They see, there was another guy who decided that uh, the lady that he was, the, the companion he was traveling with, somebody asked the lady to put on a mask and I'll just be damned that was just too much to ask her it was just too much to ask her to put on a damn mask so she got all mad and got all in the security guard's face and so did her companion and other traveling companion and he just put a gun to the back of the man's head and pulled the trigger like that's okay like that's how we do things out here This is the wild damn west, and this is how we get down. We're just going to just blow this cat away. Silliest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Silly. So silly, in fact, that you will spend the rest of your entire life in prison behind that silliness. Behind not being able to tell someone, hey, someone, put your mask on. Care about the rest of us if it's not too much to ask. I know you're a superwoman and you can't get COVID-19 But I got high blood pressure, kidney disease, heart disease. Maybe I should have had a better diet. 
but I've got all these ailments and I need you to wear a mask. I need you to cover your damn face. I need you to be concerned with who I am because I'm not ready to die yet because you're young and healthy and you're not showing any symptoms. But we already know asymptomatic people are passing this stuff around like hotcakes. Asymptomatic people. People with no symptoms. People that aren't going to get sick. People that if they get sick, it won't be anything more than a slight fever and a headache. And that's COVID-19 for them. And another person, it's absolute pandemic pneumonia. And an early grave. Or a lifetime COPD uh, 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 breathing problems because of the acute respiratory disease illness that that they survived. They'll never be able to breathe right again, walk, do any of those things. And so that's that's what those folks will be going through because the asymptomatic bloke won't give a damn enough to put a mask on. And that's that's what the the folks are asking. That's what the the governors are asking. That's what all the people are asking. Hey, can you put your mask on? But what's the what's the deeper thing here? What's the deeper emotion? What's the what 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 is it that we really have to to understand is how does this happen? How does this occur? Because it 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 almost occurred to me. I was so angry today when I was traveling. I made a, a bad turn. I was at a park. I made a bad turn. So I was going to turn into the golf course area and make a U-turn. Well, I pulled into the golf course area and this man comes sailing up. Sailing on a golf cart. I mean, he was moving. And he comes rolling up to my car and screams, can I help you? And I was instantly on. I was on the instant he opened his fucking mouth. Can I help you? I said, no, I didn't ask for your help. No, you can't help me. I didn't ask you for any help. What, what makes you think I need some help? Well, you're here in an area where you don't belong. You're driving. And I, that, and at, at that point, I was already at 100. Why? It, there, there was no need to be at 100 at that point. Why was I so angry? Why was I so mad? I was mad over nothing. I was so effing pissed off at this guy. Who was telling me you're driving in the wrong place? But it was his approach. But normally that doesn't get me. You guys know I'm a pretty decent guy. That kind of thing doesn't normally get me. But this night, this approach was absolutely effing crazy. I hope there's not too much wind here. This this approach, this night, was crazy. This approach was... This afternoon, rather, this approach was absolutely mind-numbing. Whereas normally, it wouldn't have pissed me off at all. This guy had me at 100. And I was like, rolled my window down. And I wanted to know, quick, fast, and in a hurry, what the fuck your problem is. Why are you coming at me so aggressive? I yelled back. And he could see all hell. I got the six foot four black guy pissed off. And yes, the hell you did. So immediately, his conversation, it got right. 
I said, what the hell are you coming at me so so angrily for? What are you what are you coming at me like that for? Why are you being so aggressive? Well, I, I, I'm not I'm not being aggressive. Well, yes, the hell you are. And now that I'm at 100. You're not going to easily get me back down. Now that I'm at 100. Let's take it a few more steps further. So that's what happens when you take somebody to 100 that wasn't there. Now you're ready to back down and go back to 10 or 20, and they want to stay at 100. So he says to me, he says, uh, well, no, I, 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 I just, uh, you were, in a, you were uh, pulled into a bad area, that's all. I said, that's right, I was making a U-turn. Now I can continue to make my U-turn, or we can do something about it. We can have a problem. Well, no, I, I don't want to have a problem. And with that, I left. But I want you to know I was every bit willing to get at it with this guy. To go all the way with this guy. For absolutely not a damn reason in the world. So I have to ask myself why. Well, I'm stressed the hell out. I, I'm i stressed the hell out. I know some of you guys have to be. I'm stressed the hell out. My money's not as strong as it, as it has been previously. Don't have as... Hardly anybody in the country is taking in as much as they once were. Unless, unless you've got a really great job hasn't affected you yet or or you got a good savings if you got a good savings though you're hitting that you're hitting that sucker you're hitting that savings you're hitting on it slapping it hard in the mouth so yeah yeah um i'm out of the wind now had to lock the gate but um so i'm trying to ask myself like why were you so pissed off? I am stressed. I am so stressed that I let a stranger talking absolute nonsense about bullshit get me to the point that I was ready to fight his ass. And when you're ready to fight somebody, you have to understand that it can turn ugly and go all the way. And you could trip fall into him, he trips, falls over, and hits his head on the concrete and die. I saw that happen. It happened when I was a young man uh, taking karate out there. Uh, One of uh, the classmates of ours was a guy by the name of Saigon Penn. Uh, whom you guys over on this side of the world have never heard of, but Saigon Penn actually got into a fight with some San Diego cops, shot uh, three people and killed one person. Uh, And eventually he was found having committed suicide some number of years later. We were all in the same karate school together. There was another guy who had gotten his green belt or something like that, and we were out in the streets or whatever the case would be, somebody came up on the guy, and it was just a little bitty, little bitty fight, it wasn't even anything, it wasn't big, it wasn't knocked down, there were no pipes, there was no knives, no guns, no nothing, he kicked the guy, the poor guy fell over, hit his head on a concrete curb, and was dead to the world, and this other guy has murder charges on him. That when you fight somebody, anything could happen. You might whoop this guy so good he goes to his car and gets his gun and comes back and blows your brains out. Or he goes to his car, gets his gun, but you can't let him come back because if you do, he's going to kill you. So you kill him and looky, looky, looky. Back to square one, you're in a whole bunch of trouble. So I got to tell you, if you're my... If you're my frontline responders, if you're my biker responders,
if you're my bikers who are responsible to pick up people's garbage, fix people's cars, take people's pizzas to them, take care of people in the hospital, be on fire trucks, be in police cars, be in delivery trucks, be in Ubers. You are what this country considers essential. If you're my mail carriers or my security guards and the management says, don't let them in here without a mask. You need to temper that shit. Temper that shit with a good dose of humility and a large measure of patience and a healthy scoop of respect. Because people are on edge out here. Hell, I'm on edge and I got a pretty decent life. So imagine someone who doesn't have anything coming in at all. They're on edge for real. They might not eat tomorrow. There's no gas to drive around to find something. And there's no opportunities out there to hustle. You're not even going to meet anybody on the street to play the three-card Marley game on them. There's nothing. There's no hustle. Crime has gone down. Nobody's out there to, to do crime to. There's nobody out there to, to, to make a deal with. Nothing. All that stuff is... And that's why these governors are trying to open up these cities. Because they're sitting on powder kegs. How, how do you want the folks to die? You want the folks to die from COVID-19 or you want them to die from... A, uh, a riot in the streets. You tell us. How do you want them to die? Because they're going to die, Governor Christie said. They're going to die anyway. But the further you let this thing go on, the further people are going to have to dig their way out of a hole, which could take years and years and years or decades and just face it, if your credit is screwed and you have a car that you were able to get, but your credit is now screwed because you couldn't make those car payments. If they come and they take that car after COVID-19 is over, your credit is screwed. You're not going to get another car. So it could take you years to recover enough that somebody gives you some money for a car. It could take years and years and years. It could take damn near a effing decade. So people are pretty terrified right about now. They're terrified because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do and they don't need your measure of BS in their life. And some of these people will kill you for it. So wise up. Wise up. When you approach these people to tell them to put their masks on or what are you doing in the golf area or uh, I'm not delivering your mail and your stimulus check is in it. Don't let these people kill you because they ain't stable. Well, you could tell the average person, man, I ain't giving you your check. Go kiss my ass. Call my boss. And they go through all the steps and the phone and they write the letters and all that. Man, for some of these people, that is so abstract because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to eat tomorrow. And I'm not thinking past that. And here you come with that bullshit. It might get you killed. So, think about it. Be professional. Don't get into it with folks. Don't raise your, don't raise your voice. Uh, if they get overly aggressive, hey, man, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to do my job. Tell you what, forget I said anything. Swallow that pride. The pride goeth before the fall. 
swallow it. Or be prepared to act first. That could put you in prison too. They used to say I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 9. So just keep yourself ready and ready at all times. Hey, I'm Black Dragon, and that's my two cents. I'd love to read your two cents in the comment section below. I'd love it if you would please share this recording. Please share this podcast. Like this podcast and subscribe to the station. The Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos. And we also have BikerLiberty.com for all your biker news. And Black Dragon Biker TV on YouTube. Black Dragon Biker TV Hero on YouTube. Black Dragon Biker TV on Instagram TV and Instagram. A lot of ways to get in touch with us and follow us. Our Facebook is also Black Dragon Biker TV. I got gear at BlackDragonsGear.com. I wish you would go over there and buy some of our gear and support our station and our efforts to bring great coverage and information to you. So let me tell you something, bikers. This is not a time to be afraid, but it's damn sure a time to be cautious. And I hope that you're all cautious with your lives. I'm Black Dragon. Thanks for tuning in. And get skinny.